Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanhazard.com and in this video we are going to perform a battery drain test comparison between HTC U11, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and Huawei Mate 9 and after performing few tasks we will see that which device is performing better in terms of battery performance. Right now all of these devices they are fully charged and the battery level is 100% so let's start our test now and let's see that which device is better when it comes to battery performance. So let's start with the gaming performance first of all. We are going to place faulted airborne on all of these devices for a while and we will see that how much battery is remaining after the gaming test is finished. The brightness is full on all of these devices and the graphic setting is selected as high. So an hour of gaming is finished, let's have a look on the remaining battery percentage on all of these devices. So Huawei Mate 9 has 76% battery remaining as you can see here after an hour, HTC U11 has 81% and Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is showing 88% battery remaining after an hour of gaming. So. The best performance is coming from S7 Edge right now, but it is also having a bigger battery with respect to U11. So now let's play a full HD video for an hour and let's see what we are going to get in terms of battery performance once it is finished. So an hour of video playing is finished let's have a look on the battery percentage mate 9 has 63 percent battery 67 percent on u11 and 79 percent on s7 edge so as you can see there that the worst performance is coming from mate 9 maybe because of the bigger screen size and now let's play a few videos on youtube app for like two hours and let's see that which device is going to perform better uh, in terms of battery life so we will be playing few videos non-stop for the next two hours. So two hours of YouTube video playing is finished. Let's have a look on the battery percentage. Mate 9 has 44%, U11 has 41% and S7 Edge has 63%. So you can see that the worst performance is coming from Mate 9 and the best performance is coming from S7 Edge. But considering the amount of battery, U11 is performing brilliantly as well here. So uh, now we are going to do a web browsing test for one and a half hour. We will put shanhada.com's page uh, on a loop and it will keep refreshing after 30 seconds. So once the test is finished, we will have a look on the battery percentage once again. So 
So one and a half hour of web browsing it finished and we can have a look on the battery percentage for Mate 9 it's 40%, 27% on U11 and 59% on S7 Edge. So S7 Edge and Mate 9 both reduced 4% from their previous battery stage 40, 27 and 59 on S7 Edge as you can see here and uh, uh, the watch performance came from our U11 but maybe it's because of the smallest battery size among these smartphones and the next test is going to be of 4k video recording so we are going to record 4k video for six minutes on all of these devices because uh, U11 has the limit of six minute 4k video recording so we will record the videos for the same duration and then we will see how much battery is remaining in all of these smartphones so six minutes of 4k video recording is completed let's just stop all of these recording and now let's have a look on the battery percentage so on Mate 9 it's 37%, U11 24% and S7 Edge 56% so you can see that the best performance is from S7 Edge in all of these tests and the worst is coming from Mate 9 and if we go to the settings we can have a look on the battery consumption so mate 9 can still perform around six hours on this battery level let's have a look on u11 24 percent remaining on u11 as you can see and uh, let's check on our s7 edge So estimated battery life on a 7 edge is 28% so that's something <laughs> and you can have a look on the consumption that for U11 the battery consumption was most on 4k recording for S7 edge it was Asphalt 8 and also on Mate 9 it was Asphalt 8 and Asphalt 8 was on second position on our U11 so you can see that the 4k recording is consuming the most battery instead of gaming on u11 so you need to keep this thing in mind if you're going to record lots of uh, 4k hd videos so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on videos like this and i'll see you guys next time in and another video have a nice day